Well, our next story is about a very young entrepreneur from Rwanda. In fact, he's almost too young for the Washington Mandela Fellowship. But because of his achievement in biogas development in his home country, Jean Bosco Zimana, at the age of 21, becomes one of the youngest Yali Fellows. He later interned at the University of Wisconsin in Madison, where viewers Rebecca Ward caught up with him. To be a Yali Fellow is a very, very nice experience. So it's so nice to be here at the University of Wisconsin, Madison. My name is Bosco, I'm from Rwanda, in the country of a thousand hills. Being a early fellow exposed one to different opportunities. Like meeting with young people who are in the same field. So we can put 57 samples in this tray. Right now it's running aluminum. And you're working with successful American business people. So only 10% is yeah. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah. And as well as getting a glimpse of this huge technology in America so that you can get an experience or an idea of what we can do when we are back home. I'm 21 now. It was a challenge for me to be selected for the YALI program because you know they, the program take people who are between 25 until 35 so it was a challenge for me because I was under underage but they say we're gonna give uh, special considerations to the people who are below 25 but they have to to demonstrate that they have done something. In fact that time I was the top young entrepreneur of Rwanda. So everyone was eager to know how were you selected to be the top young entrepreneur of Rwanda. So I'm employing 30 people and I also give uh, temporary jobs to more than 50 people every month. Yeah, when I came up with the idea of um, producing biogas, biomass briquettes, I was motivated primarily by the fact that many people, including myself and my family, were suffering from uh, lack of clean fuels and we were cutting down trees and I'm really passionate about the environment. So I said, I can do something to solve this problem. And that's why I came up with the idea of taking the waste, which were actually causing problem, and then putting or adding value to those wastes. And that value is the ability to, to replace the trees which are cut to make fields, but rather using those wastes to make um, uh, fields. Since I worked on biogas and Bosco works in a similar area, uh, they approached me about having him here and knowing that Rwanda is so close to Uganda where we've been working, looking through all his application things, it seemed very exciting to have somebody from Rwanda to start to collaborate with. And once he got here we were so pleasantly surprised at how great uh, a SUNY is, the competition we know for those positions. It's very high and he has been very interested in learning and he has wonderful ideas. He's a very dedicated young man and, and seems like we really have hit it off in a great partnership and we hope to try to use our collaboration to expand his business and increase renewable energy in Rwanda as well. And like the engines have a water jacket. Meeting with people, talking about businesses, exchanging ideas, so it's so good.